So America is such a cultural melting pot, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? And uh, I found this when I was doing my J1 to America. I ended up three lads from an ethnic minority from Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Who had I met these boys in Ireland, I would have leapt over walls to avoid these fuckers. And I'm getting a few dirty looks there, but in fairness, you wouldn't be happy if they moved into a field beside your house. <laughs> uh, started running around half naked, throwing oranges and baiting each other with sticks. No, you wouldn't be happy, would you? And I think by the weird sort of tension that's descended on the room now. <laughs> we all know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> the hurlers, ladies and gentlemen, the hurlers. You're walking around New York Times Square thinking, here I am, the Big Apple, and next minute you see some buff thrown through with a hurl over the shoulder in a pair of O'Neill shorts, his red skin bubbling under the sun as if he's just stepped out of the wind that shakes the barley and he couldn't give a fuck. And the main lad I was out was a fella called Seamus, and Seamus is a very strange man. Seamus refused to believe certain things. For example, that many men prefer to sleep with other men. Seamus couldn't get his head around this at all. And we're out in a restaurant we're on one night, and a waiter asked Seamus out with hilarious consequences. <laughs> so I, I pulled him outside the door, and that didn't quite sound right there. Uh, <laughs> I asked him for a quiet word outside and I said, look, mate, I said, you've been very homophobic. I said, it's not acceptable, all right, cop on to yourself. Homophobic, John! Homophobic! Don't you mind that shit, John! That is a word they made up to make you feel bad for hating them! Homophobic! You don't hear people going around saying he's a paedophilophobe, but they hate paedophiles, do you? Huh? It's hard to witness people like that get through life, isn't it? Through the muddied waters of life. You know, you know, undiagnosed retards. <laughs> it, it, it's difficult, you know. You don't know whether to pity them or, or hate them, you know. And, and I'm still not too sure which, you know. Because we were on the building sites over there and we were told, look, you guys only live about five blocks down this way. It was very, very dangerous. Don't ever, ever walk down this way. Take the long way. Now, we heard very, very dangerous. Don't ever walk down this way. Take the long way. Shame is heard. Buddy, you don't walk down this way every night. You are a fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> so every night that macho ship would take the shortcut on his own through the fucking dodgy area till one night Two crackheads jumped him and they beat the shit out of that lad. He arrived back to the house black and blue. Now, instead of doing what any normal man would do in those circumstances, ring home to your mother, have a bath, talk to a shrink, he did what any man of dish and hurl and stock would. He picked up a hurl, headed back down, find them fuckers. <laughs> Got downtown, spent about three hours hobbling around looking for the boys. He came upon them and all the skills picked up from an early age of the parish came to the fore. He was smacking into the lad's ribs, or as he'd like to call it, a sideline cut. <laughs> he was flipping up those testicles and we were pucking mid-air. He went to town on them boys. He arrived back to the house, delighted with himself, nearly thrilled that he got the bait and just so he could bait them bastards. <laughs> Next morning, there's a knock on the door. Hello, my name is Arthur Shawowski. Uh, we have reason to believe that the perpetrator of an assault was followed back to these premises last night. I have to ask all the adults to step out along the sidewalk. Please, sir, can I? Sir, can I? Sir, can every step? Can every step out along the sir, can all the Can every step out along the sidewalk? Right there, right there! <laughs> We're coming down the steps, absolutely shitting ourselves. <laughs> Seamus is in the middle, the crackhead standing behind the officer. He says, Arthur, Arthur, for that is the man! Now, that is the man right there! And that man be me and my friend uh, with some kind of giant wooden spoon! <laughs> Thank you.
We can't apologise for wasting our time. Wish us all the best on our holidays and took the junkie downtown for wasting police time. So always bring your hurls with you. <laughs>